My name is H.A. Goodman. I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. And to read my writing and to see my latest CNN appearances and my MSNBC and RT appearances, you can go to hagoodman.com. I was just published in the Huffington Post. And the article title is, If Russia Hacked Podesta, Then Russia Knows Hillary Used a Private Server to Email Obama. I'll be coming out with a new publication February 1st. You're going to love it. There's something for everybody there, whether you're progressive or conservative or independent, you're going to love it. President Obama is now accusing Bernie Sanders supporters of undermining the Affordable Care Act, of, in, in a sense, helping Republicans repeal Obamacare. I'll read you a Reuters article. Obama says Sanders supporters helped undermine Obamacare. To give you a kind of quick summary, there is now a, a civil war, so to speak, within the Democratic Party. One side has ideas and one side is protecting Hillary Clinton's $1.2 billion campaign loss. The side with ideas is the Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein, even though we're talking about the Green Party, the Bernie Sanders, Jill Stein wing, where they're there's an emphasis on policy, breaking up too big to fail banks, reinstating Glass-Steagall, ending perpetual counterinsurgency wars, implementing a single-payer healthcare system, banning fracking, those types of things. Then there's the Russia did it, electoral college needs to be reformed, sexism, fake news, FBI letter, all these excuses why Hillary lost. That's the Keith Olbermann, um, Kurt Eichenwald, Peter Dow, um, David Brock, the old 90s, the old guard, the 90s Democrats who ran the Democratic Party into the ground along with Hillary Clinton and President Obama. I'll read you though. President Obama, President Barack Obama said on Friday that criticism from the left wing of his own Democratic Party helped feed into the unpopularity of Obamacare, his signature health care reform. Obama has been spending part of his last two weeks in office urging supporters to speak out against plans by Republicans who will soon control both the White House and Congress to dismantle the 2010 Affordable Care Act. The fact that after eight years of President Obama, Republicans control the House, the Senate, and the executive branch is a testament to Obama's legacy. At a town event with Vox Media, Vox is one of the tools, one of the public relations tools for the Democratic establishment, along with the Washington Post and New York Times, and Slate and the Daily Beast. This is a PR machine that Democratic establishment, that the Democratic establishment has. So if President Obama is speaking at Vox Media, he's preaching to the choir regarding uh, Bernie Sanders supporters and their audacity in wanting a better health care system than Obamacare. At a town hall event with Vox Media, Obama acknowledged the polit that politics have been stacked against his reforms, mainly blaming Republicans. But Obama also said liberals like former Democratic presidential candidate Senator Bernie Sanders had contributed to the program's unpopularity. During Sanders' campaign for the pre presidential nomination, he proposed replacing Obamacare with a government-run, single-payer health, health insurance system based on Medicare, the government plan for elderly and disabled Americans. Whether you agree with a single payer or not, that's not really the issue in this segment. This segment is talking about how the establishment, in terms of the democratic establishment, is so fearful and so worried about actually having to debate ideas and actually having to justify their ideas as opposed to for example, a single payer. The issue, Bernie Sanders, President Obama is wrong. Bernie Sanders supporters didn't undermine the Affordable Care Act. The fact that rates are going up, the fact that initially people lost their health insurance, the fact that there's not a lot of competition, all these things undermine the Affordable Care Act. That being said, it kind of goes halfway, maybe not even halfway. The goal of progressive politics, whatever that word means nowadays, has always been a single-payer Medicare for all system where health care is a right. So you're not going to pay premiums, taxes will go up a little bit, or taxes will go up, but you're not going to go bankrupt if you have a, if you have a, um, 
heaven forbid, a massive heart attack. You're not going to go spend one hundred and fifty thousand dollars or a hundred grand on a, a on a complicated surgery. It's going to be covered by single payer. The point, though, is this. President Obama, the Democratic establishment, did not do enough to communicate the benefits of the Affordable Care Act. They didn't do enough to ensure that the most qualified candidate became nominee. And because of that, Obamacare might get repealed. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.